James Dickey's To the White Sea, I must tell you, is probably the most compelling book I've ever read, and I'm sure it's largely unrecognized. People think of him as writing Deliverance, and, you know, Deliverance... Deliverance is not as good as To the White Sea. I mean, he was older when he wrote To the White Sea. He was more seasoned. Uh, you know, the guy only wrote three novels. The rest were books of poetry. But uh, I will, I'm will. i not going to spoil it, but the end of To the White Sea haunts me to this day. It's the most eerie, haunting passage I've ever read. It's a, it's a page-turner. Uh, it's adventurous. You can't put it down. Yeah. 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 And what's it about? Well, great character, by the way. It's written in the first person. And, uh, you know, uh, guy gets shot out of his plane over Tokyo and has to survive. He's from Alaska, so he goes north. I mean, he, he takes you into the psychology of the character, but without using up like 700 pages like Dostoevsky or something. I mean, he just, uh, I have a tenderness for him because he's from Georgia. He's from Atlanta. I'm from Atlanta. So anyway, best book I've ever read by far. And it's largely unrecognized, I think, which maybe it'll be. Maybe it'll be uh, rediscovered later, but uh, I highly recommend it. James Dickey to the White Sea.